Hello students, once again welcome to Bola Nata Academy. Today we students we are going to see the next type of oxidizing agent that is NBS. The full form of NBS is N bromo succinamide. NBS oxidizes primary alcohol. Students, this primary alcohol is very important. It oxidizes primary alcohol and secondary alcohol to aldehyde and ketone. Now this is the structure of NBS that is N bromo. At the nitrogen there is a bromine is attached. That is why it is called as N bromo succinamide. Now students when you see the reaction, this is the eth ethanol students when combines with NBS it will oxidize this ethyl alcohol is converted into what? Acetaldehyde and plus succinamide and SBR is eliminated. Now here students secondary alcohol I have taken when it secondary alcohol oxidizes it will give you ketone and succinamide and SBR. So this is very important oxidizing agent for the primary alcohol and secondary alcohol. Now students we are going to see the some application of N bromo succinamide students. What happens is students? Here students you have alcoholic group which is converted into what ketonic group. That is cholesterol triol converted into what ketone group. Now here students cholic acid is there. Now what happens students here? This hydroxy group is converted into dehydroxy cholic acid. Okay students. Now you will find here students this is the ring double bond compound that is oxidized and it will give you bromine type of compound. So this is the application of N bromo succinamide. Okay, students. Now we are going to see the next type of oxidizing agent that is DDQ. It is called as 2,3-dichloro 5,6-dicyanobenzoquinone. In shortcut, we call it as DDQ. DDQ is very reactive, used for dehydrogenation of hydrocarbons, cyclic ketone into their unsaturated ring. This is unsaturated ring, students. Very important. This is the structure of DDQ that is called as 2,3-dichloro at this position 2 3 dichloro so this is 4 5 6 and this is 1 okay students so the structure is called as what 2 3 dichloro 5 6 5 6 dicyanobenzoquinone now students when you see the reaction students here cyclohexadiene is converted into what benzene because of ddq students there is a dehydrogenation takes place the hydrogen from here is eliminated and converted into what benzene that is double bonded compound okay students now we are going to see the some application of this reaction students it is it converts cyclic hydrocarbons or ketone to the unsaturated ring here students this is the reactant students when you add ddq in presence of benzene and reflects it what happens students this ethene will attach to the here and there is a formation of double bond okay students understanding now here students this is the reactant students with the help of ddq in presence of benzene it is converted into what naphthalene that means there will be the dehydrogenation takes place the hydrogen which are present here students that is eliminated and converted into what naphthalene now here students you have dioxin what happens students here single bonded here also students hydrogen is eliminated and there is a formation of double bonded compound understanding these are the very important application of ddq students now next type of oxidizing agent we are using that is called as lead tetraacetate the structure students this is a short form of the lead tetraacetate. This is the acetate group. Total how many acetate? Group 4 acetate. That is why it is called lead tetraacetate. It is a, used as an oxidizing agent for 1 2 diols, 1 2 diketone, alpha hydroxy ketone, monocarboxylic acid, monohydric alcohol, and alpha hydroxy acid. Okay, students, it will oxidize these two type of compound. Now, simple, I have taken students. First, I have taken what? Pentanol. What happens to this pentanol when oxidized will give you pentanol. Understanding? This part is converted into what? Aldehyde group. Understanding students? We are going to see the application of this lead tetraacetate students. Now this is the 2,5 hexadiol. 2,5. That means when you count that 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So at the carbon number 2 and 5, so you have 2,5 hexadiol. It is converted into what students? It is converted into 2,5 hexadiol. That means alcoholic group converted into what ketone. Now here students you have hydroxyl group present at the two adjacent carbon. So we call as what? Vicinal diol. This vicinal diol when oxidized in presence of lead tetraacetate it is converted into acetone that is it is converted into ketone that is two molecules you are getting. Now same way happening here also so keto acid if it is there students in presence of lead tetraacetate it is converted into benzoic acid. This is also called as what? Benzoic because benzene ring is there students to which COH is attached to. Benzoic acid and acetic acid is formed from alpha keto acid now students one more application students if you have alpha hydroxy ketone alpha 
hydroxy. This is the alpha position it means where the hydroxyl group is present. We call it alpha hydroxy ketone. Now it is converted into what benzaldehyde and benzoic acid. Understanding it means now here if you have cis type of alcoholic compound it means it is converted into what adipic aldehyde. Now if it is trans it means it is also converted. It is slow process and here it is what fast process. If it is cis it is conversion is very fast. If it is trans the conversion will take some time. That is very slow and it is converted into what adipic aldehyde. Okay students. Now what happens students? Now next type of oxidizing agent we are using that is called as selenium dioxide, SeO2. It is used as an oxidizing agent for oxidation of methyl, methylene, methyl. Okay students, this is methyl, methylene, carbonyl group to give alpha keto aldehyde and ketone. Okay students, here students we are going to oxidize propene double bonded, but because of the selenium oxide students, it will not oxidize this part. It will oxidize to methyl part now this methyl part which is adjacent to the double bond will oxidize to alcohol understanding students that means propene is converted into propene 3 ol and selenium dihydroxide now same thing is happening students if it is aldehyde it is converted into what this type of ketone that means two aldehyde this side also aldehyde this side aldehyde understanding students that means this part is converted into what aldehyde okay this is converted into this already we have aldehyde group and selenium dihydroxide so these are very important strings reaction. Now we are going to see the application of this reaction strings. You have cyclohexanone in presence of selenium dioxide. It is converted into what? Cyclohexane 1, 2 dione. So this is the 1, 2 dione students. Now comes to the second application strings. Diphenyl methane if it is there. This is the methane group. It is converted into what? Ketonic group. Understand that we call it benzophenone. Very important application of selenium strings. Now diethyl melonide if it is there strings. This is the methylene group which is converted into what ketonic group that we call as ethyl meso oxalate now here students you have pentene n pentene okay students n pentene students before that you have which type of group students it is what methylene group students that converted into what alcoholic group understanding so these are very important conversion students now here you have ethyne okay students this is the ethyne which is converted into ketonic group here you have alcoholic group converted into what ketonic group that is cyclohexanone so these are very important students if you want to score the good marks you should just go through all these applications it is very important for the examination point of view if you like my video please students share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much